concentration is known, it can be weighed accurately, and it reacts the same each time. In our case, the KHP solution is our, is our standard solution. The analyte solution is our unknown solution. Um, the concentration is not known, but however, we do know the volume. And in order for us to do the titration, we must know the volume of the standard solution and its concentration. For the analyte, we need to know its volume. And from titration, we want to standardize our base, which is the NaOH. <laughs> now go. Now we put the indicator into the KH KHP solution in water. drops drop by drop into the KHP, you should swirl the solution to mix the two solutions together. As you can see, the indicator solution that we put into the KHP turns pink whenever the base hits the acid.
Right now, we just want to standardize our base, which is NaOH, and so we're waiting for the solution to turn light pink. Our standard solution is the KHP solution, and our analyte is NA, NaOH, and that's why we're trying to standardize it at this point. In titration, you must have both components in order to do it. Titration is 43 point. Initial volume for this titration was 23.51, and the final volume was 43.81 milliliters. That means that we used 20.3 milliliters of NaOH to titrate the KHP solution. Fourteen point two five. So fourteen point two five. That means we use fourteen point two five milliliters of NaOH.